Our members of Mkonto Wesizwe Military Veterans Association in Gauteng joining forces with several other organizations including COSAS and the Truck Drivers Association of South Africa and they're set to march to Lutuli House and the office of the Gauteng Premier David Makura. The organizations say they are concerned about a number of issues including corruption and job losses. Malunga Boy is following that march and he joins us live now from the CBD. Malu, a very good morning to you. Uh, so some suggestions being made that um, this might just be a, a march that highlights more than anything factional battles within the governing ANC. Well, in fact, those Goli that are taking part in this march would actually dispute that. In fact, when I was talking to the Secretary General of Umkondo Esizwe here in Johannesburg, he was quite clear that this is essentially about the plight of former Umkondo Esizwe military veterans who he says have essentially been abandoned by government, saying that a lot of promises that were made, those promises, he says, were to improve their lives, were made by the ANC and that were promised would be implemented and he says all of those have not been implemented. In fact, one of those uh, resolutions he says was taken was that the Umkonto OSCs or military veterans would have, uh, would be a standalone department within government. He says that has actually not happened totally and he says that's a sign really that the ANC and the government of the day is essentially don't care about the people that have in fact assisted to bring the freedom that South Africans are enjoying today. Colin? Yeah. What about the joining of this strike by the student organization COSAS and the Truck Drivers Association of South Africa? How do they link into this protest? Well, that's actually quite interesting, Goli, because I want us to, uh, I'm going to ask cats to remove the camera off the, the tripod so that we can s certainly go and see some of the issues really that uh, these several organizations that are bringing on board. In fact, when I was talking to Tandu Kolo, he was saying that the reasons why the joining uh, forces with these other organizations, for example, COSAS and also the Truck Drivers Association, saying that the Truck Drivers Association have also have valid concerns, Kolo, that they wanted government to address. We know, for example, that the Truck Drivers Kolo, have long been complaining about government or about the sector employing, in fact, uh, illegal migrants. They're saying that uh, government is failing to address this. If you recall, Goli, in June or July, we saw that truck drivers also taking part uh, in, in a nationwide strike, essentially, calling on those who are in charge in the sector and also government to immediately intervene uh, in, in the employment of, 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 of migrants. Uh, in the sector. I want you then to see this, Goli. These, what, the, what those that are, are taking part in this match have done, in fact, is to group themselves in three groups. So that was the first group you saw in front of you. Then this is the second group. The also, you can see, Goli, um, one, of, one of the things that they're talking about here, look, if you're looking exactly at this placard, radical economic transformation, that's something we've heard it all before. And here's another one. This will catch your eye exactly, Koli. The blood of Krizani was not for the enrichment of corrupt politicians. Well, one of the things that these organizations are also protesting about or marching over to the offices of the ANC and the Gauteng government is also the rampant corruption which they're saying that government and the ANC has actually failed to address. Koli? Uh, let's leave it there for the moment. Uh, so that march by the Umkonto Wesizo Military Veterans Association alongside other organizations, COSAS and the Truck Drivers Association of South Africa, making their way to Lutuli House first. That's the headquarters of the ANC and the premier of the Gauteng province, David Makura's office. We'll touch base with Malunga Boy, I'm sure, in the next hour.